Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to Last Train Home. At the end of the last video, we finished chapter one and we are now escaping from Moscow. We lost Major Grazdik and we also lost our really good train, but it's okay, I stole a much worse train. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem, but okay. And now the game truly has begun in earnest. We are gonna have to trek all the way to Siberia and Vladivostok so I can get aboard a ship and send my Czechoslovakian soldiers back home. Now we're gonna find out in just a moment here is Captain Langer's gonna say, hey, your train kinda sucks and he's not wrong. We need to start making some upgrades. For example, there's no heating or insulation and that's kind of a problem in Russia. We could also boost up the storage car and so on. Basically, upgrades are a thing we are now need to think about. Also, we could go to some of these different settlements and trade. Not that I have a lot of resources to spare. You can see we're running pretty low already. Heck, I've only got like 160 fuel. We're burning through this pretty darn quick. Not much food, etc., etc. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. That brings us to the next phase of the game then, which is going to be a lot of scavenging. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel a little bit closer to Timberland and the lake over here real quick. Then we are going to simply stop the train and right around here I'm gonna go ahead and put together a quick squad to do a little bit of scavenging we have seen this once before but just to recap uh, on this it is very helpful to send along people with some useful skills like survivalist is one uh, hunter would be another and herbalist is another to maximize the chance that you're gonna find some really useful stuff so we'll go ahead and let them deploy now let's talk about the train itself so I'm gonna zoom in over here on some of these different cars in the last video we talked a little bit about the ability to repair the durability of your cars but I didn't show you that we can get some upgrades case in point we can upgrade with new living spaces we can have more soldiers on our train right or we can make it more comfortable so people recover a bit faster we could boost up the heating though this does consume fuel so you got to be careful about that boost up the in, uh, insulation and so on make this a stronger car with more hit points and less likely to malfunction and so on and so forth all very useful things while you are scavenging is honestly a really good opportunity to do some upgrades if there's anything you want I wouldn't mind boosting up the number of living spaces here and I know that sounds weird because I actually have enough cars for all of that but my thought is I would love to move everyone who is in this car out of here into these two right that means I could focus my efforts on boosting up the heating and insulation in only two cars instead of three. So I think this is going to be cheaper if we can concentrate our forces just a bit more. Now by doing this, we actually need to assign some workers here though. So let's find a couple of people who aren't really busy. You guys will be fine. You can work over the night. Go ahead and get started. So they'll start working the night shift and start upgrading this and this will make progress while my people are actively traveling. In Timberland, we spend some energy, we find a bunch of good trees, 88 lumber, and some XP. Alright, that's pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and take the same squad, and we are going to want to reroute them over here to the lake. And it's going to take a bit of time for them to do some forging over here, but that is fine. Let's take a look at the train. It is just about done. A bada boom. We're going to do the exact same thing over here right about now. Let's boost up some living spaces. This is going to take a lot of my remaining resources, but that's okay. Now, there's another major aspect of the game we've only kind of slightly touched on, and that is your crew management itself. If I take a look at my soldiers over here, we can see all their different respective stats. I'm going to reduce the rations of food because we don't really have a lot to work with right now. But you can see that every one of my soldiers has a rank associated, all their different stats, their food, their temperature, their schedule, where they're currently living, and a bunch of traits and attributes. These attributes are important because they dictate how effective they will be in different roles. So a scout, for example, needs really good dexterity, etc., etc. As your characters level up, like Maximilian has, we can get some extra stats we could assign here right we could do something kind of like this and the higher these stats are the more roles become available that's important because as you level up your roles like maximilian has with the scout you get additional uh, stats and also new skills like throwing a stone to distract your unsuspecting enemies the higher your decks the more effective it's going to be so with this character then we should be able well, we would be able to assign a new skill, but actually he's currently off traveling at the lake. We'll come back to that one. Give me one moment. What do we get from the lake? We find a bunch of fish from the hunter, and we found some herbs from the herbalist. All of this is very helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, now Maximilian is back on the train, and you can see we can adjust the weapon and the skills of our character. So in this case, let's go ahead and toss on the distract skill as well. And we can go to the roles progression over here and say, hey, I want you to multi-class. You can be a scout and also an engineer or a medic or whatever it's going to be. 
So for example, I'll go ahead and have you mix with a Rifleman so we'll be able to get things like the Silent Steps passive and he can be my stealthy character or something. There's probably going to end up being some sort of a meta as far as uh, what are the best class mixes for different roles, but I don't know what they are yet because I'm still fresh to this game just like the rest of you, so oh well, so be it. Let's go ahead and move on to Kolomna over here. Now here in each of these towns you can do a few things. We could go ahead and do some trading, which is not a bad idea to get myself some extra money or some bullets and so on. So for example, I could offload some extra stuff that I found that I don't think I need right now, especially things like landmines, kind of niche. But we can get ourselves some metal, a handful of extra bullets, a bit of gunpowder, and even a little bit of cash. All that's great, especially if you have an avaricious person in your crew. We could also manage up the train composition, rearrange some cars, don't think we need to worry about that. And there's also a doctor. Since we don't have a hospital train, this is the only way to really deal with your sick and your injured, but it's very, very expensive. So you really, really want to avoid these negative statuses as much as you can, especially in the early game. Anyway, let's go ahead and depart Kolomna over here, and then we will move on closer to Gorodna over here. We could trade at Zaryetsk over here because there is some uh, processed food that we could buy, and that actually would boost up people's morale pretty substantially. But I don't know if I really care about that right now. We're going to do a stop the train. We're going to go ahead and move to what looks to be an abandoned village. It does say that a housekeeper and a burglar would both be beneficial in this area. So let's once again edit up the squad, and we're going to want to send someone like you, for example, a burglar. And do we have a housekeeper? Yes, Magdalena is apparently a housekeeper. Okay, fine. So let's send them real quick, and maybe a couple other folks. I don't really care. I just need to take some folks who have good amounts of stamina. Off they go. We're going to explore over here. It's going to take a little bit of time, unfortunately, which would be a good time to get some upgrades for the train, but I'm not worried about it right now. And what are we going to find? The owners left behind things that we can use. We found bedding, old clothes, curtains, so that's going to be some fabrics. Also, because we have a housekeeper, we got some more stuff. Jar of honey, dried fruits, and sacks of nuts. Look at that! Food and cloth! Hooray! We like scavenging. But you've got to be very, very efficient with your resources from here on out, as you can imagine. Like I said, we don't have much. For example, I've already burned through almost half my store of fuel, and we've barely done a dang thing. So, like, we really need to be efficient and very cautious. Extremely important we do that. Again, I can't say that I have all of the strategies figured out here because we've kind of reached the point that goes beyond uh, the demo that I played in that previous video. From here on out, basically, everything is going to be blind for me. That means I'll likely make some mistakes, but it hopefully means I'll learn some awesome lessons and maybe make something hilarious happen on video. I don't even know. By the way, my train inventory capacity is getting filled up. we got to be careful with that. All right, coming to a stop here in Ryazan. Funny is, I know where some of these places are because of my experience with Hearts of Iron and Europa Universalis. Very funny, but that is my geographical knowledge. Anyway, their Reds have a large camp where they are training newly enlisted soldiers. Many are queuing for hours to join up. Okay, uh, they promised the farmers a helping hand from the military to tend to their farms. I don't believe that for a second. All right. And we could send a squad to the military camp. Hmm, really, you don't say. Well, if we wanted to then, we could be very bold and maybe try to fight a bunch of reds. There they are, they're way over here. Would be dangerous, but if we could take down the reds, I can imagine we get some pretty hefty rewards. So let's go ahead and send two squads out over here at the same time, because we can do things like that if we have the right corresponding skills. Do a little bit of rummaging. What do we find this time? We caught some game that's worth a good amount of food, survivalist, and herbalist. Everyone got something. I think that that's not a guarantee, right? It, it, like, if you bring an herbalist, I think there's a chance the herbalist finds something. But it's not guaranteed you're going to get that. Whereas if you don't bring him, well, then you're guaranteed to get absolutely nothing. So we get at least a little bit of good stuff over here. What else do we find over here? Smithy with some metal. Okay, good. And the burglar finds some other stuff. Some spirits. A little bit of fuel. Thank God. And also some cigarettes and stuff. Okay, all oh, that's going to be nice too. I'll take whatever I can get. Oh, I don't have my avaricious person over here. I really wish this guy had some fuel. I'm very nervous about the fuel situation. Now, if you are concerned about it, one thing you can do 
is you can actually see how much fuel it's going to cost you in order to get to the next area. So if you want to go over to Ryazk over here, 65 coal. Now, one thing you might have noticed is you actually can increase the speed of your train. That's something that was down over here. And it has a higher cost. You move faster, which maybe there are situations where that's going to be worth it. I don't know. So we could click this button, but it obviously costs you a lot of extra fuel. Not necessarily something you want to go do. Hey, look, a steam mill. There might be something good over here. What's this? We found an obstruction ahead. Waste no time. We can deal with the damage. No, stop the train. All right, we lose a bit of morale for doing this because we have some characters who are upset by this, but okay. Probably fine. We got a blockade, huh? Clear it. It's going to take a little time. Not a huge deal in that this doesn't cost me a lot, but um, it costs me time, and that means things like food. While we're dealing with the blockade, let's go scavenging. Feels like a good use of my time. A couple of hours for that? Ouch. All right, well, the blockade's dealt with. Uh, that's all good. Um, okay, what do we find over here? Uh, let's see, went through the place. It was empty from afar, but the owner left behind more things. Okay, again, Smithy. It feels like we've seen this exact text before, so it seems like there may be something slightly procedurally generated there. I'm not too sure. Um, do we have our avaricious character over here? I don't think we do, but I want to double check. Oh, I just promoted her. Sorry. No, I do not. Okay, so these guys I can recall back to the train. I was thinking it would be nice to hit up the steam mill and see if there's anything good over there, but eh, whatever. It's probably fine. Okay, well, let's resolve this thing. Report is ready. The obstruction has been removed. We can move again, but there was an accident and Camila was hurt. Camila. Mm, gr great. Um, by injured, you mean she lost some health, but I don't think she took on a negative status, at least. Which would be preferable, because that would require a doctor's visit. Okay, so she'll recover over time. That's not a big deal. She just got a sprain. And over at the lake, we found fish. Alright, we got 27 more food. We have very little stamina available. It will take us two to get here, but then probably four to get back. I don't even think we can go to the steam mill. I think we have to recall... Well, that sucks. Oh, the pub also has some potential morale rewards. Well, that would have been nice. Um, I don't suppose I have another character who would make sense to send over here who actually does have some stamina. We do, actually. So, yeah, I just had a couple of people who were dragging the whole team down. Let's just go over here and sort of see what happens. All right, this guy sells food. Well, guess what we need to buy? Yep, food. I am going to sell... Cigarettes, because that's just ter- well, I mean, it's a lot of- uh, maybe I should keep it for the morale, just in case. Same with the vodka. Um, anything else I can get rid of? What happened to all my combat equipment? I had a lot of other stuff. Maybe he just doesn't want it. I'm gonna sell a bit of extra herbs, and we're just gonna get as much food as I feel like I can. Why am I willing to sell the herbs? Mostly because I don't really know what to do with them. In times of need can be dismantled into fuel, crafting, and research. But I don't feel like I have- like, the cars I need for this or something? So, yeah, I'm just gonna try it. I don't know. Food seems to be a pretty crucial thing right about now. You know what I mean? And it looks like I've got a rash. Fun. The doctor's is ushered in. Scabies. No, no chance of getting scabies gone. Okay. Scrub the train. Burn the clothes. We're gonna have to scrub the train, I think. Uh, all right. The train is almost speckless. And the soldiers, though exhausted and cold, are proud of their work. However... The scabies will soon return. Well, they got some good memories, apparently. Morale goes up, health and stamina goes down. That sucks. It's fine, it's fine. As long as not everyone's not hungry, though, they will eventually recover. All right, let's go ahead and travel over to Ryazk. I've heard some people say that this game reminds them of the Oregon Trail, by the way. I guess I can kind of see that. Yeah, th th there's something to be said about that. Maybe. But, I don't know. I, I, to me, it seems more like Frostpunk. It's got a lot to do with the very gritty, dark atmosphere... The risk and the scavenging and all of the uh, management of resources. Yeah, we're not building a city, but we are managing a train car. Anyway, Captain Langer comes in. Uh, no need to be so formal. Sure, absolutely. He enters and salutes. Okay, he relaxes. Major, there's an opportunity you should take advantage of. You don't say. All right. According to the posters and the locals, many nearby villages are looking for help. The war has depleted the workforce of the region. The Reds are taking advantage of this. Let's do the same. Fine, let's find a village. I've already found one. It's right, meow. Okay, we should go there as soon as possible. Can we, like, work for money? Is that how this is gonna work? That'd be interesting. All right, um, do you have fuel? Oh God, you don't. How am I gonna get anywhere? That's my question. I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to go anywhere. 
Maybe, maybe we can. Oh, wait, hang on. It's right here. We should go here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave the train here for a little bit. We're gonna travel here. Potential rewards: XP, fuel, metal, cloth. Good enough for me. Let's go ahead and travel over here with a squad of about seven soldiers or so. Start the mission. The vista before you is a peaceful one. The autumn breeze weaves play through the through the grassy fields. From a distance, the village appears to be a rural idyll from a landscape painting. Someone must have spotted them as an old man approaches. Um, his arms are open in a gesture. He has no weapons. I'm the mayor. We don't want trouble. We're not actually here to have any uh, trouble. That would not be good. We don't have much to offer in exchange for services. We're hoping to find people that want a safe home outside the city. Well, we're not looking to settle down exactly. We just want to show it's not only the Reds who will help the locals, and we need food for our journey. Eh, I don't know about that one. Maybe. He's like, I don't know. There are not many capable males. Maybe Sasha can help, but he won't have anything to be found. Blah, blah, blah. Crates, water, blah, blah, blah. And if you could help us deal with some wolves, all right, we will help. Cool. So um, this begins a mission. We get a bit of morale because a religious character is very happy with charity and piety. I will have you know this has very little to do with charity, okay? I'm desperate. I'm looking for resources, and I will absolutely put in a hard day's labor if that is what it is going to take. Fence, crates, wolves. The wolves are the only ones that really worry me. Doesn't matter. We can handle anything. Your optimism Doesn't is what's matter. going to get you we killed! Wait, how do we how do we repair this yeah. thing? Do we need like a repair kit? Yes, can. actually. That is exactly what I need. A repair Let's kit. A okay. Hey, can you go grab the fuel? Is this theft? Does anyone care? I hope not, because I'm taking it anyway, I'm dang it. Okay, I went pretty well overall. What's this? We got some crates and stuff. Found a source of metal. I'll what take that. You cake? guys go grab all yes, of yes. this, please and thank you. There we go. We'll drop off three crates over here. This feels a little bit like an MMO side quest, you know what I mean? Oh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, if, if as far as, like, looking for ways to get some supplies, this feels very risk-free, and I don't even think this really cost me much in the way of time or stamina. I don't know. Maybe we'll come out of this and find out that every character that helped with something is going to be, like, exhausted, but ah, it seems all right. I like how I'm just literally running around and pillaging this village, though, and just taking random things, you know? I feel like I feel like Link from Zelda, where I just like go into people's houses and Taking smash position. things, and I don't feel bad about it at all. Whoop! I think we found the dang wolves. Uh oh boy. Um, you guys can get behind cover, but can you guys all like start shooting, please, like ASAP? Um, the wolves are coming. Holy crud! Holy crud! They are really fast and really scary. Uh, they got a leader, a white wolf leader. Oh good, 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 good. Nope, this is prob f probably fine. There we go. Jeez. I don't know, I feel like a freaking wolf could still take your guys down. Gotta be careful about that. And now there's a lost villager. Great. I got a bad feeling if a villager is lost, it means that the reds are sneaking nearby. Hopefully I'm wrong. Ooh, lots of stuff in this shack. I got a key and I got medical stuff, more metal, some cloth, some ammo. There's a burning thing down here. That's no good. Uh, let's just take a little scan, and sure enough, there are reds. I knew it. Oh, gosh. Well, I found the missing villager. He is dead. Right, they're going to attack and burn the village, huh? Great. And I'm supposed to... That's so many of them. I'm supposed to deal with all of these? This was a one-star difficulty mission. Okay, well, I've got a vantage point up here. I would like to think the height advantage is pretty good. We're going to wait for them to get a little bit closer. I wish I had a machine gunner right now. Didn't bring one. Um, oh, whoopsies. And go loud. Get them. Seriously, get them. Guys, what are you doing? Get them! All right, I'm going to try something really stupid. They're all clustered up. I'm going to walk forward with my grenadier, and I'm going to try to throw a grenade right into their faces. Like right here on their commander. And then we're going to book it out of here. <laughs> run, 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 run. Get it back over here undercover. I don't really care. And boom! <laughs> It worked! Run! All right, we got a really good defensive position over here. This should be fine. Let's see what they end up doing. Oh, wait. I think they lost me. Ha ha ha! They're fools! Oh, where did that come from? Perhaps it was just the wind. And now I'm going to just very carefully sneak attack some of these guys. Uh-oh, they may have spotted me. Hang on. Run, fools! Run away! Oh, okay, they found me still. All right, well, we're in a defensive position, and you're out in the open, so I'd like to think we got a good chance of being able to take you down. I kind of want to relocate some of you. I feel like this fence isn't exactly the best, but all right. Um, where are you going? I don't like your position. There we go. Okay, they got some pretty good rocks they're hiding behind. 
Tell you what, Rifleman, uh, you. We're gonna have you run over this way and see if you can do a bayonet charge. And get him! There we go! I don't even think we took a single injury out of that fight. That was really risky, but it worked. Okay, I think I actually saved, like, over half the village. That seems pretty good, but they're not gonna give me any sort of a bonus reward, which feels a lot less good. I could have just left them to die. I could have, but I didn't do that. I'm a good guy, but, you know, I like getting paid. All right, back to the exit area. Hopefully we get a lot of juicy XP. Yeah, at least a fair bit. Four people get promoted right there. All right, that's pretty good. And we used a lot of ammunition there, but we also gained a load of good stuff. So, I mean, hey, that 100 fuel alone is worth a ton to me. All right, so with 117 fuel, how far can I get? Can I get all the way? Actually, the exact amount I need to reach the next town. That's great. And there's the Red Army camp. We're going to want to be nice and rested for that one. But there's a fair bit of scavenging we can do along the way. So let's go ahead and depart this city. Found another abandoned area. Again, more metal. Plus the burglar found some spirits and cigarettes and more food and stuff as well. Actually, we got double impact for being a housekeeper. That's great. She even found a medicine cabinet. Look at this! Wow! That, that is a lot of stuff from one abandoned house. I'll take it. Also chopped down some trees. 91 more lumber. Timberlands seem pretty straightforward. We just gain timber outright. But this is a pretty decent amount of resources. We could go for some serious upgrades if I wanted to. Here's my question. Can we upgrade the train itself? The answer appears to be yes, actually. Hold on. Decrease f uh, the fuel burning speed by 20%. Oh my. Yeah, that could make a that could make a huge difference, actually. Um, security precautions, work accidents, storage for more coal, and then all this. Okay. We absolutely need to get the improved boiler started ASAP. So let's do that. Yeah, I actually should have done that a lot sooner. That could be huge. All right, we found a merchant. Uh, food. Food is expensive, it looks like. Weirdly enough, caviar seems to be the cheapest thing on the menu. There's also coffee, but yeah, caviar. Yeah, boost the morale, increase charisma for a while, and remove the hungry and starving effects. Can we afford, like, special food? Is that an option? Could trade a few of these medical kits. I shouldn't need that many of them. Only get four food out of the arrangement. But I mean, in the on the off chance we find ourselves starving or we really need some extra morale, I don't know, could be kind of helpful, I guess. One thing that's really killing me, I think, is the fact that I still am not recovering my stamina morale very quickly. I want to recover stamina. Cozy place is what I would need to do that. Lots of wood and cloth. Don't have enough to do this, but the next time you pause, I could start making some progress on comfortable living. Just try to get this kind of set up, you know what I mean? We've already moved everyone out of this car, so I don't have to worry about any upgrades here, but if I upgrade both of these, we get full value for a lot cheaper. That was sort of my whole strategy. And we've got a lot of cloth, weirdly enough. I could definitely do comfortable living on everything. The faster I gain stamina, though, the more missions I can run, and that feels really important right now. So we'll go to another town, we'll go to the lake, and yeah, over here on this bridge, you know... Totally a safe place to do this. Let's go ahead and start working on some comfortable living space. Need workers! And we'll do the same thing over here to the second car as well. Once again, sign some workers. What do we gain out of another one of these abandoned houses? I think a bit of repetition here, right? Oh good, another smithy. There's smithies in every one of these stinking towns! The burglar found some cigars. Not nearly as profitable, but hey, I'll take it. More metal, more fuel. Good, good, good. Okay, so if I wanted to do Cozy Place, I could afford it. But, it's gonna cost me a hundred lumber. That is a lot of lumber. I can only do this in one of the cars. And I still don't know if I'm gonna need something else later on. What about the train? Uh, sturdy heat pipes? Decrease the chance of receiving damage by burning fuel. Or, increase the locomotive strength by one car. Oh cool, we'll be actually able to add more stuff onto the train. That's cool. I'd like to find out if it's possible to get rid of this infantry car. Or, you know, replace it or sell it or something. I have no idea. We haven't figured that out yet. It's fine, though. Anyway, more fish. Hooray, 15 food. It's not a ton, but I'll take it. And what do we find here? Some extra stuff from a hunter, survivalist, herbalist. That's actually a lot of herbs. 121? Jeez. Seems pretty good to me, honestly. All right, well, the Red Army camp is over here. 
So that's going to be our next challenge, and it's scary as heck, but I'm betting we could plunder a load out of there. Uh, one thing, though, I am, I am never, ever going on a mission like this without a machine gunner again. That would have made all the difference in the world last time. I, I wish I had done it. So do we think we can go ahead and do this this video? I think the answer is probably yes. You put together a decent crew. Um, I want to save a couple of these guys. I need to bring along the machine gunner for sure. And we need a good mix of characters. A scout for absolute sure. We got a grenadier. A medic wouldn't be a bad plan. Um, another machine gunner? Maybe. If we have another one of these guns. Yeah, I mean, I can see two machine guns really just slaying everything in sight. Another scout would be good. We'll definitely want a rifleman or two. Uh, another medic? Sure. Yeah, this is fine. Full squad. This looks pretty good. All right, off we go. This is potentially going to be a very scary mission. Ten energy for this? Oh, my. All right, we're going to need a rest in the next town for sure. Your soldiers make their way deep into the woods, making attempts to move undetected. It's not long before the sound of shouting and gunfire reaches you. Right, we found the red training camp. We assess the situation. There are a few key positions. Plentiful ammunition and trucks with supplies. That sounds great. Destroying these targets, killing the commanding officer, would hinder training of new recruits. Indicating this isn't the only camp, though. There may be reinforcements. I accept this risk. And our vengeful Yosef is thrilled with this. Okay, the bulk of the Red Garrison is missing. Okay, that means they'll come back at any moment. This is our chance to go fast. Take what you can, destroy what you can't. I like this guy's modus operandi. All right, so let's assess the situation. Um, there are a couple of hills to capture. Fantastic machine gun nests. Sure, fair enough. Scouting positions, and we could destroy potentially up to four of their trucks. Right. Uh, okay. And there's also places down here. I'll bet there's resources here, too. But it's more important I secure some objectives, I think. So can we get up over here and secure some of these machine gun nests? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, they're patrolling. We need to move fast and go for some stealth kills. Uh, are we able to stealth kill a field howitzer? Apparently? I don't know about this. Let's, let's, let's see if this works or if this is stupid. Oh, God. It worked. All right. We just, we, we blew them up. That's great. Good thing about riflemen is they tend to be a little bit faster than a lot. Wait, 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 pull back. They tend to be a little bit faster than a lot of other folks, which means they're great for doing a lot of these stealth kills. So we'll just run in here, take you down, take, ooh, there we go, you down, and we just have to capture this point. Nice. Oh, for God's sake, I just wanted to run in and take the tower, and what do they do? They immediately shoot the field howitzer. Okay, we're going to try to take another one of these nests. Hopefully we're okay. They're trying to phone home. Don't let them do that. Shoot them, shoot him, shoot him. Thank you. And there we go. All right, so that got a little scrappy. Um, didn't have cover for most of that because... One of my guys decided it would be brilliant to, uh, you know, shoot at this thing instead of go silent because he was the one who wasn't silent for some reason. Anyway, let's decapture this zone. That at least will capture the hills, so that's something. And no more howitzes to worry about. Okay, we managed to snipe out the person who had this tower, which means we can grab that. We're capturing a lot of good stuff down here for the record. More people patrolling over this direction. This camp is crawling with enemies. Not even kidding. Jeez, dude. Okay, that goes another truck. Take out the moving. telegraph station so they can't do anything. And actually, yes. can we shoot this real quick? Because that'll be the third truck. There we go. Sorry, fourth truck. Boom. All right. So now I just need the intel and as many resources as I can carry. And the Red Army's still not here. But I have to imagine they're going to arrive any second now. And then we'll get the intel. Got it. And here comes a sizable enemy patrol. All right, uh, attack while we have the advantage of surprise. I could do that, but there's more resources to steal, and I want those more than I care about the rest, so no. We're going to let them do their thing, um, and hopefully it ends up being okay. Quickly set up some machine gun fire down this way and a little crossfire. They'll be dead pretty quick. Sorry, I wasn't actually listening to what that guy just said. Something, something about genocide? They're doing something about genocide? Well, that's no good. Oh, all right. Don't don't hold your fire anymore. Thank you. There we go. All right, perfect. Um, <laughs> I kind of knew that if I grabbed that intel, it was probably going to trigger the next event, which is a little annoying, but... Ugh, all right. Oh, boy. This actually is going to be a pretty large patrol, isn't it? 
Right. Um, okay. Well, we definitely need to get the machine guns set up. Um, I kind of wish I had a better position than this. We could pull back. They'll be like, where'd everybody go? But that might be the right thing to do. And then try to, like, blow up the... Yeah, blow these things up when they get close. Come on, can we blow it up, 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 right now! Boom! There we go, run, 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 everyone, take your shots. Okay, there's actually more. Go ahead, boom! Come on, shoot it! Shoot it, for God's sake! There we go. Good lord, and now they're running away. Okay, I took a little bit of an injury. Just a teeny little injury. Not a big deal. Everyone else wasn't shooting this whole time. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Um, and their commanding officer is returning with his personal gun. We need to get out of here. All right, tell you what. I found a machine gun, so I'm gonna set up a good crossfire overwatch along here. Everyone should be set to silence. I need you to hop on said machine gun, and then as soon as they get in, it's gonna be whammo time. Come on, get in range, fools. Boom, 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 boom! That's what I'm looking for. All right, everyone go loud. Just kind of hoping this actually works and I don't take any unnecessary damage, but this feels like a really good way to take them down. There goes the commander. They're running away. Amazing what happens when you steal the machine gun. Ho ho! No survivors. Yeah, honestly, bring me more of those missions. I, I can deal with that all day. That was great. Easy. Yeah, a full properly armed and balanced squad makes a pretty big difference, it turns out. All right, as far as objectives, yeah, that's a pretty good amount of XP. And as far as an overview, we use a single grenade and gained a lot more. Used 171 machine gun ammo, though. Yeah, okay. That's not super sustainable, but it makes sense. You're going you're gonna to burn through this stuff pretty quick. 200 fuel feels pretty awesome, though. I'm not going to lie. A crowd of people approach the train as their squad comes back. A woman pushes to the front. You destroyed their camp. Many of our men enlisted and died there due to horrible conditions. They've moved recruitment to another location. Some of our foolish men have returned home. Thank you. We killed many of your loved ones, probably. Uh, maybe. But they were fools for trusting the Reds. They would have died another way. Oh, gosh. These are Russians, after all. That is cold. All right. We're stunned by her harsh words. She gives us more food and coal. Here... Choose what you need. We can't spare all of it. I'm going to say fuel. We could take nothing. I don't know if there's anything you gain out of that arrangement, though. I mean, do we get, like, karma points? Anyway, that takes care of that nonsense. So we'll just sit here, wait for Timberland to finish up, and we can actually go for some additional upgrades. Had talked about doing this. Let's go ahead and get a cozy place set up. I want it. And there we go. We can begin our trek over here to Morshansk or Morshansk, whatever. We have a more efficient engine. We've got enough fuel to carry us for a good long while all the way to Penza. So that's fantastic. We dealt with a load of enemies. I'd say things are looking pretty good here. We could even go to the pub and make everyone happy. It would cost me all of my money. Well, <laughs> Fun as that would be, no, can't do that. Really wish I could get rid of one of these cars and get something better, though. I want to know how I get things like hospital cars. That's going to be really important at some point. Anyway, I feel like this is probably a good place to end this particular video, but I feel like we've made a good amount of progress through Chapter 2. We should be able to finish this off as of next video. Might be an opportunity to buy some guns and or some ammunition coming up pretty soon. A couple more abandoned towns. And then, yeah, something's going on in Penza. Don't know what it's going to be. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if so, I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.